Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 84 count number of bad pairs. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know about the number of bad pairs you have. Anyway, uh, so the easier thing to do is to count the number of good pairs. So, I, and you can actually see me doing the contest doing this. Um, but, you know, let's say we have this formula. And I think they, it's become so s standard that they actually even make it a Q2 because I think this is kind of tricky if you haven't done it before. But given this, you know, let's collect the I's and the J's on each side, and and then you see something like this, right? As the formula, uh, I minus numbers of I, right? So you basically here is the number of bad pairs uh, for every J that looks is the same as the previous I. So the other way to do it is just count the number of good pairs, then, which is this. Maybe the problem name is a hint. Uh, you count this and then you subtract it by total number of pairs and that's basically what I do and the way that you look this up is that you know you try to find previous numbers the previous number is predetermined by this i minus numbers of i so then we just have to keep track of it with the current j and that's pretty much it so I have a collection counter um, I have the number of total and then number of matched number of good pairs say and the number of good pairs is just the number of previous numbers that um, that has used this already and yeah and then we add the number of i's because for the number of previous pair in total of course this is also n choose two so yeah <clears throat> or um one of those things maybe it's not n choose two but it's like n times n plus one over two or something like this but doing this way is easier for me during the contest and then at, at the, at later you, you increment one so that it can be counted later um yeah and then at the way end we do a total minus matched so to get bad pairs we just subtract out the good pairs and that's pretty much it um i did this very quickly i think in two minutes so yeah uh, this is going to be linear time linear space we look at each number one number once and we put it in the and yeah we need all of n space so yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you think and you could watch me sub alive in the contest now. <sighs> okay. We have something like this. So then I do so. Let's read this one. Oh, because I did it is equal to. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. Let me know what you think about this contest. I'll see you later and take care. Bye bye.